Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm back on Scratch and today I'll be teaching you guys a new type of mechanic that you can use to maybe improve your game or add something to your game. It's kind of a lawn mower thing, you may have read the title already. Let's just go into it. First of all, you want to make a new sprite. You can either pick one from here but I'll make a new sprite. Take paint and I'll name my sprite player. This is uh, player. Now I'll take the circle tool. It's already in white and outline is uh, black on 7. You can change this to your liking. I'll hold shift while making a circle so it's like it's not like this. And I'll center the circle. Now we can add some lines to be our arms that will hold the lawnmower. You can add some eyes too. Now that has been done, we can just add some blocks so that he will work as we want him to. First of all, when we click the flag, we want him to change its size since this is too big. Let's try 25, 24, let's just try that. And I guess I'll work with this one. This is small enough for me. So you can try different sizes until you get the perfect one for you. Next, we want to add, a, we want to make a new block. So let's name this block fill. And I'll make sure it runs without screen refresh. And now we have a defined fill one, fill block. So what we want to do is, we will add the extension of pen, pen extension. So this extension, add this extension and you will have these blocks here. Now I am on scratch 3, so if you don't have this then you may need to go on scratch 3. There's also a web version you can use. First of all we want to change the color to a dark green. Go over here to green make it a darker green and then we will set the uh, sorry we will set the pen size to a big number let's just say 10,000 then we will go to 00, zero. that's the middle of the screen next we will do pen down and pen up make sure that it will just drop one big blob of color oh we haven't placed this make sure to put this fill block in here so you can already see when I clicked it to go over here and to make the whole screen dark green so it'll look like a very big area with a lot of grass tall grass which we need to cut next we can add the controls for the player so he can move around what we'll need to do is first of all let's just make sure that he will always be in the front layer so go over here go to front layer he will be in the front layer then we can just add a forever loop it's over here then inside the forever loop we want to make a new variable so remove the variable and make a new variable for all sprites direction this will be uh, the direction that this guy is facing we want the direction to be set to his direction so it should be here in motion you can see the direction block i'll just tick it so we can compare now if i run this it's direction this direction is same as this direction let me just change this a little bit and you can see that it doesn't it's changing with the other one now that we have our direction input it will help us later on when we are making the lawnmower now after that let's add a if block this block is just so that your whole game doesn't uh, your whole game doesn't glitch when the sprites move back and front when you're touching with your mouse since it will be looking at your mouse and that's the problem I faced when I was making this so I made this to make sure that that doesn't happen now you add a not block if not touching mouse pointer then we will make we will add another block so we will point towards the mouse pointer so if it's not touching the mouse pointer it will point towards the mouse pointer so it will point towards my pointer here now what we want to do is now we will add a if else block here so if else blocks we will just continuously add if else blocks under this one we'll add a if block and now we want to add the key press block let's add w first let's say if w is pressed then we want to check again we want to check again if i'll just duplicate this from here not touching mouse pointer then we will want it to move over here change y by 10 w means going up so it will change y by 10 so if i press w it will go up now i can't do any other things since i haven't made those let's just do this i'll just duplicate each one of these 
I'll just duplicate this second time, then I'll make this negative 10 and W below W is S so S and then the next <coughs> one. Now if you're wondering I'm just putting these inside the else block the other one. So at the end there will be one else block, empty else block. So don't be worried that you have one empty else block and I don't we both have an empty else block. This one, let's say I'll do it with a so it will go to the left so for this one we won't need the change by y we need the change by x so we need this to be negative 10 since it will be going this way as you can already see there we have done these three now we need to add one more and we just put this here add change this to key t first and now we can move back and front here and there and wherever we like while the camera well the player is still looking at our mouse pointer now we need to make a new lawnmower let's just make i'll just make this lawnmower i'll just name it more i'll just make a simple lawnmower this is our simple lawnmower i'll just group it and then i'll make it centered it's a simple lawnmower and it's white because uh, it's right now just for showing the mechanism. I will not be painting it since it's gonna take a lot of time. And you can paint it however you like to your you can paint it to your liking. This more first, just like how we did to the player, we need to make sure that it's small enough for this whole project. So it's size to let's try 24 on this as well. And this works. 24 works on both of them. Next, what we want to do is on the more we need to uh, add a forever loop here. Also, adding the forever loop, we want to make a new block. Blocks, and we will name this clear the way. Basically, we are gonna clear the grass. So clear the way. Run without screen refresh, and we have this block here. Now, what we want to do is we want to change the pen size. Set the pen size. Set the pen size to a uh, 100. Let's say. Is visible it was 10,000 that's why we are setting it to 100 now now we will change the color also let's change the color to a lighter shade of the green here I just take this green here and then make it lighter then what we want to do is we just want to pen down and pen up pen down and pen up now that we got this first of all before we put the clear the way there we want to point in direction so to need an input of direction and we will point in the direction of the direction of the player this direction we just took from this player this lawn will also point in that direction if we run this you can see both of them point in the same direction but it's not like but the player is not holding the lawn more so to do that we just need to add not go to random position change this to player and move steps so you need to change this move steps until you got something like this is right in front now you just add the clear the way block and we are basically done with the whole game so you just move around clear the grass and that's all you can also stand still and just do this that's the whole mechanic now you can also hide these things so that no one can see the direction and it won't be annoying screen since some people will get confused by the direction this is all to the tutorial i hope you learned something new and i hope you can implement this into some kind of game and i'll see you in the next one